Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Tony with La Lita Loca. If you're brand new here, if you're looking for cruise tips, you've come to the right place. Uh, we are La Lita Loca. My wife and I make videos about cruising, primarily tip videos, news videos, and cruise vlogs. So if you are a first time cruiser and you're looking for info, you are in the right place. We've made a lot of videos and sometimes we go into a lot of details about a lot of things. This video is going to be a little different. Uh, this is primarily focused for people that just want the info and they want it quick. This is 50 tips for first time cruisers, kind of done rapid style. I'm going to roll the intro and then we're going to get right into it. Stay tuned. All right, 50 tips for first time cruisers. Here we go. Tip number one, prepay as many things as possible before you cruise. Tip number two, travel to the cruise port the day before your cruise. Tip number three, visit your doctor for a health checkup before you go on a cruise. Tip number four, wash your hands often and use the sanitizer on the cruise ship. Tip number five, Bring more than one bathing suit. Tip number six, you can bring less clothes if you use the washer and dryer on the cruise ship. Tip number seven, charge your batteries on your phone and for your camera at night while you sleep. Tip number eight, make sure you take the muster slash safety drill seriously. Be there on time and don't skip it. Tip number nine, make sure you make both digital and physical copies of your passport and travel documentation. That way you've got it on your phone and you also have an extra copy on your person. Put a copy in the ship safe. Tip number 10, make sure you reserve your seating for the entertainment on your cruise before you cruise if possible. Tip number 11, make sure you reserve your specialty dining before you cruise. It's likely to fill up. Tip number 12, Bring sunscreen, aloe, seasick medicine, pain reliever, any of those medicines that you might need on the cruise, bring them from home. It's likely to cost you double on the cruise ship. Tip number 14, make sure that you notify your bank and your credit card companies that you will be traveling out of the country. That way they don't put a security hold on your cards when you make a margarita purchase in cozy mail tip number 15 also notify your cell phone provider that you're traveling out of the country they may even have a plan that covers you so you don't get overcharged if you happen to use your phone at one of the ports tip number 16 download all of the apps that you need for cruising prior to getting on the cruise ship when you got that sweet fast at home wi-fi tip number 17 make sure you arrive at the cruise port at your assigned time or after your assigned time if you arrive early, you might get turned away. Tip number 18, bring some cash for tipping. Tip number 19, bring cash for vendors at foreign ports. It's a lot easier to negotiate and they will when you have cash in hand and you don't have to worry about the safety of your debit or credit card. Tip number 20, check out the State Department website to see if there's any travel advisories for the ports that you're cruising to. Tip number 21, make sure you review the website of the cruise line that you're cruising on to verify all the policies so you can follow the rules and only bring on the items that you're supposed to bring on, that way you won't get hassled by security. Tip number 22, Keep your travel documentation and your boarding pass with you on your person on embarkation day. Tip number 23, don't argue with the staff or any other guests or get in any altercations or fights. You might get kicked off the cruise ship. Tip number 24, only smoke in designated smoking areas. Tip number 25, make sure you use your do not disturb sign during the day on the cruise ship. Uh, you could get walked in on if you don't. Tip number 26, make sure you set your watch and phone to ship time and turn off any automatic updates that will automatically update the time. Ship time is king and you gotta follow it during the whole cruise. Tip number 27, check your shipboard account often for errors. Make sure you don't get overcharged. Tip number 28, just an FYI, most ships provide shampoo and body wash in their cabin bathrooms. So you don't have to bring that if you don't want to. Tip number 29, don't flush anything down your cabin's toilet other than the toilet paper provided. Tip number 30, don't touch the food in the buffet with your bare hands. Tip number 31, 
don't enter crew only areas. Tip number 32, don't throw anything off of the cruise ship. Tip number 33, don't be late for your assigned time in the main dining room. Tip number 34, avoid touching public restroom doors and door handles with your bare hands. Tip number 35, bring something that you can stick on your door that makes it easily findable and identifiable. Tip number 36, look at a deck plan of your cruise ship prior to cruising and make a plan for how to get from your cabin to the places you want to go. It'll make it a lot easier when you get on the cruise ship. Tip number 37, if you don't prepay your gratuities, the cruise line, they're gonna add it to your shipboard account during the cruise, don't be surprised. Tip 39, make sure you put your phone in airplane mode while you're at sea, that way you avoid that expensive cell phone roaming. Tip number 40 is just a heads up, the internet is an extra cost on the cruise ship and a lot of times it's not that peppy, just be forewarned. Tip number 41, the spa often runs specials on port days. So if you're gonna get a massage, consider doing it when most of the people are off the cruise ship. Tip number 42, the bottled liquor that you can buy on the cruise ship and at ports at the duty-free shops, you can't drink that on the cruise ship. They're gonna take it from you and give it back to you a day before you get off the cruise. So don't buy that bottled liquor thinking you're gonna drink it same day. Tip number 43 deals with traveling with children that you are not the parents of. You may be required to provide special documentation showing exactly what relation you are to the child and why you might be cruising with them. Check with the cruise line to understand what documentation is needed when you're traveling with children. Tip number 44, research alternate eating locations on embarkation day. You might wanna avoid the buffet, it's gonna be super crowded. Tip number 45, invest in a portable battery pack so that you can charge your phone during the day without having to be in your cabin. Tip number 46, make sure you make your way to the top deck during the sail away on embarkation day. You only leave port once a cruise and many times the views are unbelievable. Tip number 47, super important. Make sure you bring comfortable walking shoes. Tip number 48, make sure you arrive early for shows and events to get a good seat. Tip number 49, make sure you're always checking for price drops on your cruise. The cruise line will help you save some coin if you find that they're selling your cruise cheaper than what you paid for it. And tip number 50, have fun, relax, enjoy, it's that cruise life. If this is your first cruise, prepare to be addicted. Uh, it is so fun to go on a cruise. We've covered a lot of those topics in more detail. We have a really good playlist called Cruise Tips You Should Know. I will link that above and in the description. Many of these topics we go deeper in. Sometimes we take just a single tip that we talked about and go deep into it. So if you're looking for more information, uh, look on that playlist there. And what we do to build community is we always look for your feedback. If you're a seasoned cruiser, what's a first time tip that we could share with the people out there that are first time cruisers? And if you're a first time cruiser and you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Again, welcome to La Lita Loca. If this is your first time watching, we would invite you to subscribe. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button. This is Tony with La Lita Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.